Hey everybody, it's I, your friendly neighborhood survivor guy, Gordon Holmes here with uh, your exit press uh, for the rest of the survivor finale. We talked to the new champion, the defending uh, champion, Gabler, last night. Still can't believe that that happened. Um, if you want to see that, uh, it, it, that video is on the channel. Uh, also, we'll, we'll post it at the end of this video. We're going to talk to the rest of the final five today. Uh, we're going to talk to Carla, going to talk to Jesse, going to talk to Owen, and going to talk to Cassidy. I'm going to reuse this intro, so if you've heard me say this exact same thing before, uh, feel free to skip ahead a minute or so. Uh, the comment section's open. Let us know what you think of, of the finale, the season as a whole. What do you think of that weird 044 promo? Kind of looks good. Um, also, uh, like the channel. No, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It does us a huge favor. It gets us in front of more people. The more people who see this, the more stuff we can do. Going to be doing some off-season stuff you're not going to want to miss. So, uh, again, subscribe if you get a chance. Uh, and I also like to see that subscriber number climb. It gets me all giddy. Uh, yeah, and with that being said, let's see what uh, this contestant, whoever I'm talking to, uh, has to say about last night's shocking finale. Uh, uh, mm, uh, 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 right? You get it. Oh, I get it. All right, tell you, Cassidy. Last night, I'm I'm sitting, I'm typing my little report about under-edited female survivor winners, and then delete, 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 delete. delete. Um, uh, you you've had you know over half a year to, to 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 put this into perspective what happened what happened there i'm still i think struggling with that one a little bit um i feel like i could say one thing i'm sure the jury will say another thing um i really don't know what happened i think it it felt like when i got to final tribal it didn't matter what I did or what I said. It felt like they were already against me. I didn't know what I could do, like, or what else I could have said, like, to have swayed them. Um, it felt like they had already made their mind up about who they wanted to win. And I don't know. Like, I don't know if I could have done anything different. And yeah. I think that it was just difficult because I think that if a, a man had played the way that I played the game, they would have won with a landslide. And if a woman had played the way that Gabler played the game, they would have been called a goat. You know what I mean? Like it, it was, to me, that was really hard to come to terms with because I was like, and especially in the season where this was like a theme. Um, but I, I mean, I don't want to take anything away from Gabler. It's not his fault. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm proud of him for winning, but at the same time, it was like, I was pretty shocked. I, didn't, I don't know. You could see me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting you said that because Noelle in particular complimented you on winning challenges and then made, made the point that especially as a woman, so for her to then go around and vote for Gabler, I, I guess, you know, I, I, since since last night, I've been struggling for some kind of clarity. I'll be talking to, to Jesse and Carla later today, so hopefully I'll be able to get there. But um, it, it seems like in, in a time that you haven't even been able to quite figure out what happened either. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, now, heading into it, you like that you made the decision to let Gabler make fire because, A, he, the guy's a, apparently a human flamethrower. And B, you didn't think it would help him that much. You saw him as, as, as somebody who would probably not get many votes at Final Tribal. Obviously, that was not the case. What led you to believe that that he he wouldn't have that much success in front of a jury? So I think that that was a common perception amongst everybody who was left in the game. Um, personally, I feel like, and I think the jury might say something different now that they voted for him, but I, but I feel like everybody I had talked to up to that point was like wanting to bring Gabler to the end or at least didn't see him as a threat. So there was no reason to like waste like tribal council voting for him when there was like bigger threats in the game to get out. And so, and then, and then just like, I just think there was like a perception of just like, just use him as a vote. Like, I don't know. He, cause to me, at least when we talked a lot of the time, he was just like, just tell me where to vote. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it basically. And it felt like, he wasn't really like pushing any agenda. He was just kind of going with the flow, just trying to like wherever the wind blew, blew. And to me, I was like, I I worked really hard every vote to push my agenda to you know make sure that the person that I wanted to go home was going to go home. Um, I strategized all day. You really didn't get to see a lot of that, but that was like something I I, I never came up to anybody and said, just tell me where to vote. Like, you know, I just want to be on the right side. Never, not once. I always was like working my ass off to make sure that what I wanted to happen in the game happened. And then also, you know, winning three immunities. Like 
those things. And then I had relationships with everybody too. Like I didn't realize that you could get to the end. And then if you just had a good final tribal council speech, like that could win you the game. I'm not saying that's what happened, but at the time, that's like at least what I felt because I was like, I just, I went in with the, and this was my fatal mistake, obviously in the game was underestimating how well received Gabler was to everybody. But part of me feels like it was also like they just didn't want to give it to me for some reason. Okay. And what, why would that be? Because, you know, um, why wouldn't they want to give it to you in particular? Uh, all I can think of is the conversation you had with Carla on the beach where she, she said that, you know, she would say you hadn't made any moves before the merge. She would say she wouldn't vote for you in particular. Part of me is wondering, is that all just gameplay? Uh, is that all just to, to keep her around? And then once she gets to the jury, you know, she'll, she'll vote her, her conscience. I mean, just knowing Carla, like, I feel like that was a threat that she would have fulfilled, like, because I think she had, this is, I don't know, it's, it's, this is just difficult to wrap my mind around, but I feel like, I just feel like that's something she would have done personally. Um, I feel like she was upset that, like, I got the better of her and that she was unable to complete the mission and get to final tribal. And I think she put all of her, I think, my alliance like like I mean with Jesse and with Carla and with like even with Sammy like I feel like they saw them getting voted out as like all my fault and they gave me all of the blame and none of the credit and I was like the last one pretty much standing from that ma majority alliance and I feel like they they were upset that it wasn't them partially yeah. I'm sure they had their reasonings to vote for Gabler but like that's to me it, it felt like they were just looking at me as like the reason they lost the game instead of looking at it objectively more so i think it was a little more personal right but they seem to be people who respect big moves and respect gameplay so to me for jesse to be like boom got cody and, and flushed your idol etc for for him to come around and be like well i'm not going to vote for cassidy because she got me out to me that seems kind of hypocritical i mean i i completely agree i thought i thought i was working with the cast of like big fans who would be able to put that aside at the end and vote for who like truly did play the best game and i'm not saying i played the best game of the season by far but i think it doesn't matter how good of a game you play if you can't get to the end right, right? and i feel like i played a good game I feel, I feel like i played a great game and i feel like the people i was sitting next to i i just i had felt like i had that was the best shot that i had right and i think even with jesse the conversation that i had with jesse about the fire making like he had told me i don't think this made the cut but he told me um if you don't take me out in fire, I'm not voting for you. I'm going to vote for, for Gabler or whatever. And I was like, and I remember like being offended. I was like, I don't understand why you're threatening me with that. Like, is it because I'm a woman? Like he got all offended by that. Mm -hmm. But it was like, at the time, it just felt like every, all these people were attacking me and saying like, I'm not going to vote for you if you vote me out. Like, is it like, and it, to me, it was like, that's unfair to tell me like, you're going to base your entire um, decision off of like the fire making challenge and that, the fact that like I didn't step up even though I earned my spot in final three it just felt so ridiculous that they that was like a criteria for them that I needed to to achieve to be a, a valid winner in their eyes like that just seems it just didn't make sense to me okay. uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better uh, I'll say someone's name give me the first word a couple words that pops into your head and uh, let's start off with Carla ego Cody Live in. <laughs> uh, Lindsay. He gets a lot. That's a popular one. Uh, uh, Lindsay. Um, oh, queen. Okay. Sammy. Fun. James. <gasps> Number one. Okay. Janine. Day one. Day one. Janine. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Ellie. Um. Badass. Dwight. Intelligent. Ryan. Fish. Noel. <laughs> She's also a badass too. I'm like, my brain, I, it's, it's super early, so my brain's not. <laughs> We're all badasses. Vocabulary right uh, now. Geo. Cassava. Okay. Uh, Gabler. <sighs> Good heart. Owen. Bestie. And uh, let's finish off with Jesse. He was just, he's a great player. He really was. Yeah.
So l- last night, uh, like towards the end, uh, they, you talked about being re- partially responsible for the Ryan vote out, and then they kind of called you on that and said that was that was ride or die, uh, which ride or die is the worst uh, name for an alliance. It's like naming a baseball team like 110%. Um, but apparently this was a big deal that we didn't get to see very much of. Um, how, 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 much, how aware were you of ride or die during your time out there and, and apparently the power they had? I think like at the time, obviously they didn't tell me that this was what they were thinking about in the vote. And I, I mean, Gabler, we we all talked to everybody. So like seeing people go off and talk was not, it didn't really spark anything in your head because like everybody talked to everybody, no matter if you were in an alliance or not, um, which kind of also probably made things a little confusing. But I, I just, I guess at, at the time, I didn't see why people would be trying so hard to go after me I just thought Ryan I know like he wasn't a huge strategic player but he was very physically fit and he was definitely somebody who I felt like especially someone like Cody who has the potential to win a lot of immunities um and then I just felt like with Jesse and Cody I was just I felt closer to them than they were with Ryan and I felt like that would hold some sway and Ryan was just a bigger challenge threat at the time obviously like I ended up being a challenge threat but at the time I feel like it just, to me, I felt like it was the best bet to get Ryan. Obviously, looking back, I think it would have been a better move for them to get me out at the time. But um, with that vote, like, yeah, obviously, they didn't tell me that that was good. There was like a stipulation about who was going home. And I maybe should have considered that. But and then they didn't show this. But like I talked about after um, how I was like, OK, like, I guess you're not going to accept that. But like with the Noel vote, I was able to convince Cody that afternoon when they were on the reward to basically like turn on Noel because he really like wanted he wanted to work with Noel the whole time even though it wasn't really working out um and he kept wanting to give like chances to that and I feel like I helped convince him like why like that was never gonna happen and it was just like time and he even told me at that final tribal like yeah like that you did convince me that afternoon to like to turn on Noel and that was critical for that vote and like just for my game in general and then so that was accepted but they didn't show that and then I guess it didn't even matter in the jury's mind anyways it really felt like nothing i said mattered that much i have a theory um is it possible uh that the jury was jealous of your survivor sweater (gasps) i mean it could be but they'd have to be they have to be uh psychics right because i just got that my grandma got this for me for christmas Uh, it might it might that that that's very sweet um cassidy you know like i'm still trying to, to piece all this together um, I know you got a super busy day ahead of you, and I want to thank you so much for your time and for your honesty in this interview. And uh, hope to see you again. Yeah. Like, like you know, I don't know what you could have, like, you, like you said, like you you were that you you were with, along with every vote, you won immunities. You seemed like you had a a, a good social game. Uh, so, but you know, the, the jury votes the way the jury votes. Yep, that's the last battle, isn't it? All right, Cassidy. Well, thank you so much, and uh, I'm gonna thank give you. One, you. I'm gonna give me one of them sweaters. Yes, get one. They're on. Yeah, they're like. I mean, it's it's. It, let me just give you a full. Yeah, let's take a look. Look at that. Wait, say it's say something. As soon as I saw it, I was like, "This is." Oh, and then like, wait. Oh my goodness! Look at that. I know. <laughs> oh, that's my logo. I designed that logo. You did? Yes. I put together. Oh, like, that's like night. Like I did a logo where I p- put a piece from every season and then did it for like funsies, and then CBS <gasps> merchandise was like. Can we use that? And then we is that is that this one? Yeah. Oh my god! Shout out! I hope you Where... got a cut of this. I didn't. Like, but with, with the way I work, I I wasn't able to. I'm well, on a I'll sweater. Let everybody know it was you. Please do. I'm on a sweater. <laughs> you got to get one now. Yeah, you should be getting one for free. Wow. I'm gonna reach out to them. All right, Cassie. Yeah. I know you're super busy. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Have a good one. You too.